Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com, and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about how to print text to our browser windows using PHP. Uh, something that's pretty straightforward, but something that also uh, has a couple of different ways you can do it. So uh, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and set up our PHP tags. So we can say PHP, and then have our closing tag included in here as well. And uh, the first way we can go about printing text is using what's called the echo statement. Uh, so all you need to do for that is say echo, and then uh, put some quotation marks around whatever you want to print. So let's say, hello world. And uh, at the end of your echo statement, you're going to want to include a uh, semicolon, and that's basically like a line terminator. It basically tells the PHP interpreter, this is where this line of code ends. So let's go ahead and save this. And if we come over here to Chrome, uh, we can refresh, and you'll notice that we have hello world, just like we typed in the text editor. You can also use echo, however, uh, like you would a function in another language. So for example, in Java, if you use system.out.println, uh, you're actually using a method or, or a function. Um, so you need to put some parentheses around it. So you can use echo in the same way. So you could say echo, hello world. And then you could also print that out to the screen. So let's come over here and refresh. And you'll notice that we have hello world. Nothing changed at all. So let's go back to our text editor here and learn about another way that we can actually print text. And that's what's uh, using what's called the print um, statement. So we can say print, and this is just the same way you would do it with Echo. We can say, hey there, and let's go ahead and save it and come over to Chrome and refresh, and you'll notice that we have uh, the text that we wrote. Uh, same thing, you can also use some parentheses if you'd like. So hey, and if we go ahead and print this, you'll notice that we have exactly what we typed into Adam, our text editor. The difference between echo and print, uh, if you're wondering, is that echo is a little bit faster than the print method, and echo actually accepts more than one argument, whereas print doesn't, uh, if you ever need to use that functionality. So let's go ahead and see what happens if we print multiple lines to the same page. So let's say echo, uh, this is line one, and then let's go down here and say echo, this is line two. And notice that we need a line terminator at the end of each of these lines um, because the uh, interpreter is going to look for these just to, to know when each line of code ends. So if we come back over here to Google Chrome and refresh, you'll notice that we have this is line one, and then we have this is line two. Uh, and they're actually on the same line, even though we did not put them on the same line uh, in our text editor. And that's because we didn't implicitly state that we wanted to have a line break. So the good thing about PHP is that you can actually use HTML code within your PHP. So we could, for example, say echo, and then put in a, a line break tag like that, and then we can come back over here to Chrome and refresh, and you'll notice that we have uh, this is line one on one line, and this is line two on the other line. The other thing that we could do, and what's more efficient, is we could add uh, our, PH, our HTML tag right in the, um, the text here as well, and if we come over here to Chrome and refresh, you'll notice that we have the same result. What's even more efficient, uh, as you might guess, is that we can just say this is line one and use our line break and then say this is line two. And if we come over here and refresh, the same result as we had before. Uh, one other thing to note is that you can use things uh, like bold and italics or any other HTML tag that you'd like within your PHP code. So we can say, for example, bold the this is line two line Save this, come over here to Google Chrome, and refresh, and you'll have this is line two bold. Uh, so these are a couple of ways that you can go ahead and print text to the screen. Feel free to play around with them a little bit, uh, add some HTML, see what you can do. Um, maybe not add just HTML that has to do with text, so maybe add uh, like a table or something like that, or a form and see what happens. Um, but this is basically how you go about printing text. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below or send me a tweet at, at JamieMCG on Twitter, and I'd be happy to try and help you out where I can. So thank you for watching, and have a great day.